Hello kids, a very good morning to you. I am Monisha from Bharadasana Matriculation School, Arakonam. Today, I am going to teach you the coastal plains and the islands, that is part 4. In that last session, we have discussed about the eastern coastal plains, right? Now, we are going to discuss about the western coastal plains. So, what are all the states which is coming under the western coastal plains? Okay, so is the western coastal region that is extends from the run of Kutch to Kanyakumari. Okay, see the map. So, the western coastal plains extends from the run of Kutch to the Kanyakumari. Okay, the western coastal plain extends from the run of Kutch in Gujarat to Kanyakumari. Is do you know the capital of Gujarat children? Is I'll tell you. Okay, so the capital of Gujarat is Gandhi Nagar. Okay, G A N D H I N A G A R. Gandhi Nagar. And here, Ahmedabad is the largest city in Gujarat. And here, Ahmedabad is the largest city in the state of Gujarat. And the main occupation of the people here is farming. Okay, so farming is the main occupation of the people. Okay, so farming is the main occupation of the people. Here, they cultivate the crops like sugarcane. They cultivate the crops like sugarcane, jowar, groundnuts, g u r o u n d ground nut n u t groundnut etc. Okay, so they cultivate the crops like sugarcane, jowar, groundnut etc. So, the main occupation of the people who lives in the state of Gujarat is the farming. Then, okay, so the famous thing, okay, so some people are engaged in the work of dairy farming also. Do you know the Hummel products? Okay, yes, we all love to eat Hummel butter and ghee etc. Right? Okay, so Hummel product which is located in the state of Gujarat that is Anand Dairy products. Okay, so it is very famous in the state of Gujarat. So, the Hamul dairy products is a very famous thing. Okay, that Hamul dairy products that the factory is located in the state of Gujarat. That is the famous thing which is present in the state of Gujarat. Then, trading. Okay, along with that, the people also engaged in the work of separating a salt from the sea. Look at this picture children. They are separating the salt from the sea water. Okay. So, they also done this work also. That means they separate the salt from the sea water and they will export it into the many countries as well as the many states. Okay. So, the people also engaged in the work of separating the, engaged in the work of separating the salt from sea and the digging of oil okay so digging of oil as well as a dairy farming which is a dairy products the language okay so the language the main language of the people who speak uh, who spoken by the people who live in a gujarat is a gujarati g e o e t i okay then Men wear a short frock, dhoti and kurta. Look at this picture. Okay, they will wear the men dresses said to be a dhoti and kurta. The women dresses said to be a gagra choli. The women dresses said to be a gagra choli. Then, so what are all the festivals they will celebrate? The main festival which is celebrated by the people who lives in Gujarat are said to be the Navaratras. Okay, so the Navaratra that is a Durga Puja festival, right? Okay, they celebrate a main festival as a Durga Puja and also they will celebrate a main festival as Janmashtami which means birth of Lord Krishna. Okay, so why do we celebrate a Janmashtami festival? It refers to festival which means the birth of Lord Krishna. L O R D Lord Krishna K R I S H N A 
okay so the janmashtami refers to the birth of lord krishna nammalu paathirpo nam veetla enna pannuvanga janmashtami appa veetla seeda murukal la nam krishna ku padachu mummy enna pannuvanga and the chinna chinna paadala paint la varinju samaikumuvanga so that festival refers the janmashtami which refers to the birth of the lord krishna okay so the another one is there okay so do you know who is called as a father of our nation ma is is mahatma gandhi so mahatma gandhi was born on gujarat at porbandar okay so mahatma gandhi was born at gujarat on porbandar on october 2 1869 okay so our father of nation that is mahatma gandhi also born on gujarat okay later mahatma gandhi lived on sabarmati ashramam okay later mahatma gandhi lived on sabarmati ashramam this picture refers the sabarmati ashramam you see b a r m e t i sabarmati ashram is a s h r e m okay so mahatma gandhi was born on the state of gujarat on october 2 1869 at port bandar later he lived on sabarmati ashram see the picture children this picture refers to sabarmati ashram the next state we are going to see is the kerala okay so kerala we call it as a land of coconuts okay so kerala we call it as a land of coconuts so in the land of coconuts here we could put because here we see a n number of coconut trees in the kerala we can see n number of coconut trees coconut trees so we are call it as a kerala as land of coconuts and here the husk is mainly used to make a carpets blankets etc so what is a husk okay husk is nothing children it is a thenga naar nu solran pathinga tamil la adu da okay and the husk vachu enna panna mudiyum and thenga naar kala vachu it is used for manufacturing a mats and carpets okay so with the help of that husk we can manufacture a mat and carpets okay the next the state of kerala as a most literate people so what is a literate people educated people okay so in that kerala we see a more people are said to be literate it means educated people so the kerala have a more number of literate people festival okay so what is the festival they will celebrate what is the most important festival of the kerala people ma means malayali people is yes, onam okay so onam is the most important festival o n a m okay onam is the most important festival of the people who lives in the state of kerala okay so next we see capital so what is the capital capital of the kerala is Thiruvananthapuram. Okay, the capital of Kerala is Thiruvananthapuram. T H I R U V A N A N T H A P U R A M. Thiruvananthapuram. And dance. Okay, so see the picture and guess it. What is the famous dance in Kerala, ma? Is kathakali okay so the famous dance of the people who lives in the state of kerala is said to be kathakali k a t h a k e l i okay kathakali is the famous dance of the people who lives in the state of kerala then language what is the language what is the main language for them is good that is malayalam okay so the main language of the people who lives here malayalam m a l e y a l e m okay malayalam is the main language of the people who lives in the state of kerala 
the next okay which means the last state which is coming under the western coastal plain is the goa okay so do you know goa is also called as an land of beaches okay so goa is also called as an land of beaches why because here we see a number of beaches okay so we call it as an goa is a land of beaches okay here marmagau okay marmagau is the biggest port of kerala okay in port means in tamil we can say it as a thuraimugam okay so marmagau is the biggest port of kerala okay then the uh, the most of the people engaged here is fisherman okay so the most of the people who engaged here as a fisherman which means the occupation is said to be a fishing fishing is the main occupation and the common dress of the people is dhoti and shirt okay here we can see uh, western dresses also western dresses also they will wear okay so but the common traditional dress means men wear a dhoti and shirt women wear a sari and blouse this is a common traditional dress of the people who lives in the state of goa then occupation we already discussed right the main occupation is the fishing okay so the most of the people engaged in the work fishing fishing is the main occupation and the language so what is the main language means here they will spoke main language as english as well as konkani k o n k e n i konkani okay so the language of the people who lives in the state of goa is english and konkani and the capital so what is the capital of goa the capital of goa is said to be panaji p a n a j i panaji is the capital of goa okay so along with that here the people who lives in the state of goa they also cultivate a crops like spices nuts etc okay that is a spices like a pepper turmeric chilies okay they also cultivate the spices as well as a nuts varieties like a cashew nuts badam pista etc then the festival okay the main festival of the people who lives in the state of goa is the carnival festival c a r n i v a l okay so it is a mixed tradition of western and eastern style okay it is a mixed tradition of western and eastern eastern style okay they will celebrate nearly for 3 days okay so they will celebrate the festival for 3 days the next we are going to see what are the famous thing which is present in the state of goa okay here the famous church that is basilica bom jesus okay so that is a famous church okay which is present in the state of goa the another famous church is there that is saint francis of assisi okay saint francis of assisi that is a famous church which is present in the state of goa okay so i hope children you all enjoy this session i would like to give a small recap what are all the states we have seen okay so first we discuss about the western coastal plains okay so the western coastal plains extends from run of kutch to kanyakumari then we discuss what are all the states which is coming under the western coastal plain that is kerala goa and gujarat okay along with that in previous session we have discussed the states that is a maharashtra as well as a andhra pradesh okay so these are all the states we have discussed okay for further information we have attached the study material question bank and self assessment thank you children we will meet you on next class